Hi, my name is Doug Windiker, and I'm the Quality Assurance Product Specialist with Atlas Copco, and today we're going to do a tool check using the ST Bench. Um, on this ST Bench, we have an ST Pad. Um, a couple ways we can initiate a test on here is through a route, um, which we'd have the test in there, and also directly from the tool list, um, and I'm going to show that to you now. If we launch the tool check directly from the tool list, if I hit the tool button, and I can actually search the tool out by serial number or asset number that we have programmed in here. So I know for a fact this is the tool down here. If I scroll over here to the play button and I hit that, these are the inspections that I have for that tool. So at the top of the list, I have a tool calibration, I have a SPC check, and I have a CMCMK check. So that's what we can do directly from the tool list. The other way we can launch a tool test is through a route, which is how really how this bench is designed. We push a route down to our pad. It's attached to our bench. The quality operator is going to push this down the line, and we're going to come to a station and, and, and within our route, and we're going to perform the test. In this case, the solutions demo room is the, is the inspection I have. And if I hit the play button there, um, again, I have this tool in here, and I have it here in three different ways, my calibrations, SPC check, and CMCMK. So I'm going to perform the SPC uh, tool check if I hit the play button here. What the pad is doing is looking at the brakes that are on the bench and sees three brakes that are capable of uh, running this tool. I'm going to select the 50 Newton meter here. And as you can see, on the ST bench, the LED ring lights up, indicating what brake I chose. In this case, it's the 50 Newton meter. So um, the ST bench all comes with a bunch of little adapters on here that allow us to have a square drive on one end and a hex drive on the other end. So we don't have to take the socket off the tool itself. We can automatically run. Um, without having to take the production socket off. Now, if I pull the trigger here, now we get my first result. As you can see, it comes in at 40.52. Uh, this is a batch of five. You can see up here in the upper right, my batch three of five, another pull, four of five. And as I'm pulling the trigger on the tool, I'm getting the results down here. At the bottom, we have some running statistics of what's happening real time, where we are with our average and our you know, minimum and maximum. Again, that information is there. Another way to look at these statistics is go over here to the torque statistics. If I hit that button, again, another way to view the information. If I want to change it from torque to an angle statistics, I hit the three dots over here, and I select angle statistics. Now, depending on what result I'm highlighted on, that would be the the view or the trace rundown that I'm going to look at. So if I hit the trace button with the third rundown, I'm going to see that trace. And right now, by default, I'm looking torque versus time. If I want to change that, I can do torque versus angle, or I can do torque versus angle versus time. Everything's on there. And if I hit the limit button, it'll add in the limits for my test. So and the other cool thing is, is if I want to zoom in, I can actually zoom in and look at a, an expanded view of what we're looking at here. All right, so back to our test. We're at four or five, one more trigger pull, and I'm going to be, complete my SPC check. And you can see here's the SPC rules that I have enabled and that are compliant with. I hit OK. And I also have a summary here of, of what I have available as far as the SPC. Additionally on here, you can see that I can print a label if I need to. If that's part of what your process is, we can have a, a label printer connected to the bench. And we can spit out the label of the test date and time. And we're good to go there. So, I can restart the test from here or I can end the test. And that pretty much completes tool checks with the SD Bench. And as you see, I'm compliant here. I got a green, I'm good to go. I'm off to the next tool down the line. So this has been checking your tool using the SD Bench. If you have any further questions, contact your Atlas Copco rep and thank you for watching. <laughs>